Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Easter. Today's Easter Sunday. Um, sorry about last night. I didn't get to finish um, vlogging for the rest of the night because we got back from dinner with our friends um, pretty late around, I would say, and we didn't get back home until midnight, like 12.30. And Meg and I was exhausted because yesterday um, we woke up early, we had a long day, and the posing practice really killed me. So, little update. Today, Sunday, Easter Sunday, so um, the gym's gonna close a little bit earlier, so I have to go to the gym a little bit early. Earlier, so I think they're closing at two, so I'm gonna be going around, I'm aiming for 11. It's like nine o'clock right now. Breakfast, first meal of the day, I'm gonna have um, first form, level one, one and a half serving, the ice cream sandwich. It's been my go-to breakfast in the morning. Um, I'm gonna have three servings of Fruit Loops. I haven't had Fruit Loops in a long time. And I'm gonna have my coffee. Um, what else? I'm gonna eat this right now, and then I'll probably just chill out a little bit, and then I'll have another pre-workout meal one more time, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. So, because due to the timing, I might not be able to film because it's probably gonna be packed. I don't know if it's gonna be packed, but it's gonna be harder because I'm scheduled for an upper body day today, and um, usually when I film, it takes a little bit longer for me to to work out for you guys. So. To film for you guys so i'm gonna try my best to really just work out quick and just get out of the gym and finish everything before they close up oh hi Vinny. um but all right guys so if you guys hear a lot of noise that's because olivia actually came to sleep over last night and um maggie's actually taking her on a easter egg hunt with her friends so that's pretty cool. Um, for me, I'm just gonna stay back, go to the gym, come back, do some chores and relax a little bit because um, usually on Sundays, I have my client check-ins. So um, that's the best time for me to check in with my clients as well. So I'm gonna have two client check-ins, one of my other clients going away. And I'm actually creating, um, I have to fix up two plans for actually for two of my new clients jumping on board. So pretty excited, pretty grateful, pretty blessed and I also got to check in with my coach because it's Sunday and I usually send them my progress pictures and I update my charts. So um, no new low this week, just a little update, no new low. I definitely didn't hit any, maybe like 161 once, I'm not even sure, but definitely no new lows, but I've been hovering around 162 consistently for like the whole entire week. And my tracking was pretty good this week, so, um, and the, the sleep could be better, but again, um, due to work and traveling, the commute, um, sleep is pretty much, it is what it is, right? Like, I can't control that. So, um, I can catch up on sleep on the weekend, and which I did last night. Usually, I don't get to sleep much, but last night, I pretty much knocked out all the way to, like, this morning. So, I feel pretty energized. I'm still a little tired, but more exhausted from the posing from yesterday. So, here are some notes from yesterday's posing session. So we got a chance to pose with Ian. Ian. Um, he's like in an OG, a WNBF legend promoter. Um, it was different, man, posing. Like, like I thought I kind of still remember some of the stuff I I did two years ago, but that I, it just reminded me how out of shape I was yesterday. So um, the posing was long, and it was like straight one hour. So I was like literally dying, like my body was sore. And remember in the previous video, I told you I pulled my, um, I caught a cramp on my left calf. So like I had to flex that a lot. So I was just dying on like in the room. But um, it was awesome because I got to meet my teammate Drew and this guy is beast. He's 169. He'll be competing in the Hercules um, men's physique class. And it's our first time meeting in person because we have been talking on social media. And this guy is a beast. He looks so much bigger than me, and he's only about nine pounds heavier. So I was shocked. And you know, Alex, he went as well, and it was just a good learning experience for all three of us. So even though I did the show, like shows before, and I've competed before, it just shows that you're never too good enough to not practice, right? Because practice makes better. So I definitely 
um, got some new cueing and I'll be practicing posing every day just to do the, um, the mandatory poses and just work on holding it, you know, because that, that's the hard part. The flexing part is not the hard part because some people just think you flex for a short time, but to hold the poses for about 10 seconds, 15 seconds while looking natural with a fake smile, um, that is the hard part because you start cramping up if you don't practice enough. And um, usually I see a lot of people on stage like that where they're, they're shaking or they're just like swamped in sweat. And um, I don't want to be one of those guys. Like I actually want to be as present, like presenting as I can, you know, as pleasing as I can without looking like everything was forced. So I definitely got to work on that. And as you guys know, I've always mentioned posing has been one of my, my weak points, posing, chest, calves, and, and stomach area. But one thing I did notice, um, I, feel, I do feel a little bit leaner. Like, I do feel a little bit leaner this week, just a little bit slightly on the upper body, especially. So my glutes and my hamstrings are coming in, but they're nowhere leaning out as fast as my upper body this time. So it's it's pretty it's pretty funny because in the off season, my legs hold on more cuts than my upper body, but this time around, like it's really just going too fast, and I guess I can't control that. So um, what I have to do is just keep being patient and. Just let the diet take its course and just keep leaning out until the, the hamstrings and the glutes come out. Which, that is the tricky part because um, many people have a hard time coming in with their striated glutes. But um, again, this time around, I'm much fuller. I'm trying to keep that more balanced look and not just sacrifice everything just for the striated glutes. However, one of the goals I envisioned myself was to have these striated glutes. Um, so can't wait to see what the next 11 weeks bring um we have 11 weeks left i really see a lot of changes coming in the next four or five weeks because that that's going to be the point where we do most of our work and the last four or five weeks is more like cleaning up tailoring and just really tweaking everything so what else definitely getting colder because um i guess i'm getting leaner now even though um i'm still bigger and eating more food, I get cold really quick when I'm working out in the morning. So in between reps, not even sets, reps as I'm working out, I get like the chills. It's a pretty crazy experience. Um, but I also hate training in a hoodie because what I hate is sweating too much and I, can't, and I feel like I'm suffocating and I can't breathe. So I, what I usually do is I try to warm up with the hoodie on just to get a few sets in, a few reps. And once I feel pumped and warmed up, then I take it off and I just start working out. But um, I definitely can't, I'm not one of those guys where I, I wear a hoodie and just train for like two hours because I tend to sweat a lot and I tend to feel like I'm about to pass out. So, here is the special guest. Come here, Miss Olivia. Olivia Colin. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, Olivia, she's eight years old. I don't know if you guys can see her. Go eat your breakfast, all right? She gotta, she gotta, have a, she has a responsibility. She's gonna walk Vinny, right, Vinny? <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty much um, the check-in for yesterday, and dinner was great too. Um, thank you again to my my buddy Sammy and his, and his fiance for you know taking Megan and I out. Um, we haven't seen them in so long, but the next time we go out, it's gonna be on Megan and I. And it was a great time. We had a great, great, tasty food. The restaurant was like full house, but food was amazing. And I woke up a little bit lighter, 0.2 pounds lighter than yesterday. So that's not bad. I, I mean, that might be due to like extra longer sleep, but um, I feel a bit better. But we'll see how the workout goes. I'm going to probably take footage on my phone, like pictures. I've been telling myself I'm going to take some progress pictures of me working out at the gym but because when you're at the gym you tend to I tend to forget to take pictures I forget to stop and take pictures so I'm gonna try my best to take a picture of me um, working out the pump just to let you guys see what's going on while I'm at the gym so I'm probably gonna go hang out with Olivia and Maggie for a little bit it's about 9 17 right now hang out with them for a little bit I'll probably have another pre-workout meal one more meal I'm not sure what I'm gonna have yet I'm not sure. And then I'm gonna walk Vinny and then we'll go to the gym. So um, I'll probably check in later when I come back from the gym. 
All right, guys. I'm gonna get ready to walk Vinny Boy soon. And, oh, what's this? Professional salon. She Maggie's wants a bun. She wants a, a bun. bun. And she's gonna put her Easter bowl on. Oh, let me see, what? Olivia. Say hi to YouTube. Your eyes. Yeah, so one of the goals this break is to finish hooking up my um my the entertainment room, the gaming room. So I have to finish all these wires. I have to fix all of them, and then um hopefully get to play some video games. I definitely want to read a book. I'm gonna read a book. I had to read a little bit today when I come back from the gym. I do have to clean up. I do have to vacuum the whole house, wipe it down a little bit, and um, yeah. Believe it or not, Maggie and I were actually getting ready to fix our backyard and our front lawn. So that's gonna be exciting. That's like the mix, the next big thing, part of our life, our goals, and then so we can barbecue and just tan in the backyard. Perfect. Let me see. Let me. Okay. This hurts. Ow. Tight. Tight. You want to, like, let's put the bowl on and see how it looks. Oh, that looks cute like that. <laughs> the little physique check, guys. How do you want to put it? Flat. You want the bun? You want the bun like this? Oh, yeah. So, also, this go this this break, I'm trying to bring um the wiring guys. I need them to finish connecting the, the TVs, the wires behind the wall. Yeah. Because we actually had to put it on um, before, like around December when we first got the TV. But we didn't get cable TV yet, so that they were like, hey, call us back after you get the cable so they can put the wires in the back. So right now, it's so ugly because all this is sticking out, but we're going to put this in the back. So, for the TV. I'm going to go walk Vinny. I'm back home guys um it was a quick workout the gym actually closed a lot earlier an hour earlier before um i thought it was gonna close the guy told me two o'clock but it's one o'clock but the main thing is i got everything in got all my sets i pushed it um i didn't go as heavy as i could but heavy enough to really feel taxed um came home in an hour pretty much i'm gonna relax now um i want to eat i should have a post-workout meal but because it's only been like an hour and a half or two i'm not as hungry um, I might just have a shake, and I'll probably eat the sandwich later. Now I get to hang out with Vinny. Right, Vinny? So, um, Maggie went to Brooklyn to go Easter egg hunting with Olivia. So, they're having fun. Um, it's beautiful outside. It's a beautiful Easter Sunday. I'm going to chill with this guy, this handsome guy right here. This handsome guy. This handsome guy. Yeah, um, the pump was good. I think if I really took my time, it would have been a more effective workout, but sometimes you just gotta roll the punches, right? Like, whatever it's in your way, you can't, can't um, complain about it. So, I just did what I can, I didn't stress it. You know, back in the days, I would stress it. I would kinda like, you know, be overwhelmed and like be, be afraid to deviate from the plan, but you know, I'm a little bit more experienced now, so um, that's one thing I tell my clients as well, where like, you know, sometimes things do happen and life happens, so don't, don't be overwhelmed, you know? Sometimes there's a lot of positives within the negatives and with the downside. So just really um, do what you can and don't stress about things that you can't control. Keep your head up and keep pushing one day at a time, you know? Because one day at a time is gonna add up to a lot of um, a lot of days and you're gonna really see the results. So I'm not really afraid because at the end of the day, I did work out hard. I did earn those calories. Um, yeah, so after I eat, what I'm gonna do today it's only one something, watch some TV. I'm gonna probably shoot off um, posing footage of week 13 for you guys. And then I'm gonna probably read a book. And then I gotta finish up two client plans because I have two new clients starting up. So I gotta finish up their um, plans and also, also set up their macro numbers. So um, yeah, be right back guys. It's a beautiful Sunday, it's about what? 4.30, uh, we're taking Vinny out for a nice long walk around the park, take some pictures, and then I'm gonna get back to client work. 
and then my mom's gonna come visit as well. Vinny, no. It's beautiful, right? I can't wait for spring. Wait to spring. Mm -hmm. Well, summer. The warmer weather? Warmer. Yeah. Well, not summer, because it's too hot. Yeah, so when we moved here, we actually wanted this for Vinny. We picture ourselves walking in a nice park and, you know, just enjoying a day, family day. And look at this, all the Easter egg hunters. We could set up egg hunting. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Look, it's pretty cool. I know, how cool is that? So, yeah, nice little cardio. So I'm getting a little hungry. I have about a few egg whites left and two serving of asparagus with um, some rice cakes. So I don't have much left for dinner, so I'm actually just drinking more coffee to, to keep myself satiated. And I'm getting cold, so. Video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're back from our walk. Maggie's eating. My mom's here. Nice fish sandwich. Pork sandwich. Oh, pork sandwich. No, so pork for Maggie, fish for my mom, and nothing for me because. Um, I already eat most of my macros and I don't have any fats left. So, the only thing I do have left is this cup of coffee to, to suppress the hunger. You know, look, my mom's here. Say hi, mom. <laughs> You're gonna go on YouTube. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the key. I'm gonna get right back to client work and just chill out, talk to my mom. And yeah, that's it. And I still have to pose for tonight. So that's it for now. I want this shirt. Sure. I am a gym teacher. You would never the gym of life. My baby hooking up my mama. I'm getting hungry. I think I'm gonna eat some rice cakes soon. I think I have three they rice so cakes. Well, so, so trying to finish up these them. plans and then um, that's it. We're gonna send them out and then check I'm in with- all right guys, it's late, it's like midnight. Um, my mom actually left the house around like 8.30 and then I finished um, creating the client plans and portfolio for on the drive for my two clients, my two buddies starting tomorrow. Um, I also got a chance to check on everybody else and to really <clears throat> FaceTime and Skype with them to make sure that they, they got everything set and ready to roll for Monday. So um, I'm really excited, pretty exhausted. Um, it's weird, it's like I'm tired, but I don't wanna sleep. I actually wanna brew another cup of coffee, but it's late, Maggie's sleeping already. Maggie has work tomorrow. I'm probably gonna walk the dog and um, probably just chill out, get ready to go to bed and chill out a little bit. Um, macros had been changed for me as well. So um, I'll talk more about it tomorrow but it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So I'm hoping it's not too bad because I do want to work out. I have a lower day schedule for tomorrow. Um, I'm really excited. I'm tired, but I'm really I'm really excited that I'm having like so many people coming on board. Um, so many people really putting their trust in me to helping them transform. So um, if you guys are watching this, you know, thank you guys. I know you guys are gonna crush it and we're gonna do this together. All right, guys. Um, have a good night. I'll see you guys in the morning.
As always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.